Speaking of stuff that's pat going around on the internet, Drew McIntyre has obviously been great on the internet uh, as of late. And uh, he went to social media this week to compare uh, Tama Tonga to a gremlin saying, quote, I thought we all agreed not to feed Tom after 8 p.m. If you remember his viral making noise thing he was doing on SmackDown. <laughs> Justin, I, I want to ask you here. Um, it got me thinking. Wrestlers can be kind of monsters in their own right. I'd like to know if you could compare a current wrestler to a an 80s, 90s movie monster, what kind of comparison would you make? I don't know if I'm going to go monster because we don't have a lot of supernatural at the moment. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I can go villain. I can go bad. Like, yeah. look, when I see Gunther, and especially when you go to the 80s, like the 80s was so America. And every bad guy in the 80s, whether it's a Rocky film or whether it's a Die Hard film, was not American. It was a foreign. It was the foreign threat. So like John McClane in the Die Hard, he's always taken on the international terrorists that are always European. And so when I see Gunther in the Ring General, especially when he had both Kaiser and Vinci and the way he walks, but he talks, like that's the thing, the Die Hard villains, they don't mm -hmm. talk like uneducated thugs. They talk like sophisticated, you know, d d diabolical, you know, villains. So, and that's Gunther. So I think that I, I could see Gunther going against Rocky in a in a Rocky movie like Gunther to me is just, he's an eighties villain. It's great. Yeah. I could absolutely see him doing the, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> yeah. Or, or in Die Hard three when, uh, you know, now we're going to the nineties, but you know, yeah. again, it's, it's a, it's a European bad guy. And he's Simon says John McClane and his new <laughs> best friends will go to the payphone. Like I could see Gunther doing that. I could, you know, I could see him. <laughs> right. I, I thought you were going to go more Hans Gruber. <laughs> well, 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 Hans was, according to the first one, was the, the brother of, of, of Simon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spo spoiler Justin. alert for anybody who hasn't watched it. What? <laughs> Justin. Darn. There, you I, ruined I was, it for me. In, was, case that, in case that was movie night this weekend for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Die Hard was a Christmas movie. Leave it alone. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, Mike Martin says Crowbar could be Edward Scissorhands. And Stephen Camp says Braun Strowman, Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm thinking Solo Sokoa, this is maybe not a horror movie, but uh, I, I could see a lot of like Scar from The Lion King where he's getting rid of getting rid of um, uh, the, Mufasa. The, the, the Mufasa. That's the name. I can't want to say Simba. Getting rid of Mufasa so he could be the leader of the, the tribe now. I could see him. Maybe that comparison there. Uh, Mike says Becky Lynch is Stephanie from Short Circuit. Yeah. Um, Jimmy, that's this is your wheelhouse. You, you like the, uh, the throwback stuff. Who are some comparisons you could make? I, I like the fact that Justin said movie villains as opposed to horror movies because I, I, I like the villains that, that uh, have a kind of a cerebral kind of thing. And when you think cerebral, you think Randy Orton. And I don't know. Randy Orton could sometimes get into that Jack Torrance thing in The Shining. Jack Nicholson. Mm -hmm. So I could see him kind of getting in that kind of thing. He can he can do it. Right now he's he's a, he's a baby face and not doing it, but I could see him doing that. And the other person who I think has the potential to be someone maybe from the 80s genre is uh Dexter Loomis, maybe doing a little yeah. Kiefer Sutherland from uh, Stand by Me. Oh. Maybe, yeah. You know, maybe a little Ace Merrill. I don't know. It's a possibility, I think. It, it's there, I think if they can tap into it. Uh, Bernie DC says Randy Orton could be like Liam Neeson in the Taken series. I have a unique <laughs> set of skills. Um, I if was you're looking thinking, current. Oh, sorry. If you're looking, sorry, Jack. If you're looking current, maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe Braun Breaker as a the beekeeper or the Terminator. Oh, you know, I was thinking Shayna Baszler as uh, the Silence of the Lambs guy because she ate a bite out of somebody a few years back. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, so yeah let us know in the chat let us know in the comments if you have any 80s 90s or whatever movie comparisons for bad guys monsters things like that that you could compare to a wrestler today it'd be fun to see what you guys come up with